and welcome to a brand new season of First LEGO League Challenge. Whether you're a new team or a returning team, we're super excited to have you here and we know you're going to love it. Now, this season is called Submerged and is all about exploring the ocean and the varying habitats found in the different ocean layers. In particular, you'll look at four different layers throughout the ocean. The Sunlight Zone, the Twilight Zone, the Midnight Zone and the Abyss you will have registered for one of two options. Our team registration option is where a team of up to 10 members will work towards a regional event at the end of the season. Or if you've registered for our class pack option, this is where a class of up to 30 children will work towards an in-house event at any point in the season once you've finished the programme. Regardless of what option you've signed up for, you're going to be receiving a lot of Lego kits. The first thing being the challenge mat, which will arrive in this box. And once you've unpacked it, will look like this on the table. Now this contains everything that you can see on the table, including both the mat and the mission models that you'll build and then navigate your robot around the table to complete the missions. You'll also be receiving a team meeting guide, which is for the coach and outlines the 12 sessions that you will need to complete throughout the program. Each session starts with an introduction activity and ends with a share activity, which are really helpful for the team to complete. It also contains really important checkpoints and tips for you to make sure that you're on course throughout the season. You'll also be receiving some engineering notebooks that look a bit like this one. And these are for the team to document their ideas, their research and their progress. They're also a really useful tool for the team to use at the end of the programme during their judging session. And lastly, you'll also be receiving a robot game rulebook, like this one, that outlines the missions and the rules for the robot game that you can see on the mat here. It's a really useful tool for working out your mission strategy for what missions you will choose to do at your robot game at the end of the programme. Another really important thing to check in your robot game rulebook is the guided mission. Within this, you get the code for the mission that you can see here. And this is where you will work with the team on the other side of the table to send the submersible over. So make sure to check that one out. Another thing to keep an eye out for this season is that the content in this book has been clarified and all the mission briefs and rules have been simplified so it's much easier for you to understand. You'll notice that the field setup section has been removed and is now a standalone video that you can access on our team resources page. You'll also notice the addition of the equipment constraint icon that will show you which missions can't be supported by your robot at the end of the game. If you've registered for class pack, you will also be receiving some additional kit to help you complete the programme including a small Lego trophy, like this one here, as well as some build your own medals like this one that I built earlier. These will enable you to run your in-house tournament once you have finished all of the sessions. Now, for both options, you will also need a Lego Education Spike Prime core set, like this one, as well as a Spike Prime expansion set, like this, to enable you to program your robot to complete the missions on the table. Now let's take a deeper dive into first LEGO League challenge. At either their regional or in-house event, teams will be evaluated based on four different components, which are all equally weighted. The first being robot performance, which is where they will design and code their LEGO education robot to navigate this theme table in front of me. They'll try and complete as many missions as possible in three, two and a half minute games. And the missions can also be completed in any order. Another great thing about the mat is that the teams will learn about multiple ocean environments, all whilst working with the mission models associated with them. Another great thing is that each mission and model that you can see also provides inspiration for possible solutions to your innovation project. Now going on to the innovation project, this is where teams will identify and research a problem linked to the ocean theme for Submerged. They'll design a solution, create a model drawing or prototype and present their solution in a judging session at the end of the programme. Teams can also use the project sparks within the engineering notebook, looking at the roles of people such as a marine biologist, a submarine pilot, or even an oceanographer, and see if one of the problems outlined interests your team and they can use that to go into their innovation project. You can also see in the engineering notebook the challenge story, which might also give you some ideas for your project. This includes a hungry shark whose habitat has been defeated and is under restoration, an anglerfish who lives in a shipwreck, which is an unintended artificial habitat, an unknown creature that lives peacefully in the abyss but one day stumbles upon an AUV, or a family of whales who showed up in the kelp forest next to a human village during their migration. Teams can choose to design either a solution for one of the problems listed, or do some research to identify a completely different problem. Just make sure to use and evidence multiple sources. Now onto the robot design. 
This is where teams will need to prepare a short presentation that clearly explains the process they use to create their robot. They'll need to include about the programs they use as well as the coding, why they chose to design their robot that way, and also speak about the attachments they made as well as any improvements. Last but not least is core values, which are demonstrated in everything the team does throughout First Lego League Challenge. The core values include teamwork, inclusion, impact, fun, discovery, and innovation. Now new to this season is the fact that core values have been integrated into the innovation project and robot design rubrics, so they no longer have their own individual rubrics. You can see this within the rubrics marked with gear shape checkboxes, so you know exactly which points are assessing your core values. Now onto the timeline of the season. First Lego League Challenge runs in a school year from August to July. For those attending regional events, these will take place between January and March, with our national final taking place in May. For Class Pack, you can run your in-house tournament at any time throughout the season once you have completed the sessions. You're now ready to get started with First Lego League Challenge this season. If you have any further questions, make sure to check out our Team & Coach resources page where you'll find all of the resources and videos you need to get started. Now grab your guides, build your robot and put on your scuba gear and I'll see you under the ocean ready for Submerged.